Did you know that it's possible to see photos and private profiles on the Instagram? Now it is possible. It does not matter if somebody blocked you or if you do not have permission to see the profile. Throughout Insta Private Viewer, you will be able to share this. We created something exclusive that can help you to see the profiles private or look at easily. And the most important, with anonymate and security. With this way, you will have access to all contents of the profile, photos, videos, and activities. To use these tools is very simple and fast. It is just following the instructions. Step 1. Access our search engine. Step 2. Report the code generated by your activator. This process is necessary to prevent robots from using our system. Step 3. Our system will validate the informed code. Report the username of the profile you wish to view. Step 5. Let our tool do all the work. Step 6. See the profile desired safely and anonymous throughout the link generated. And then, did you like it? Assess now for free and get access to the private profiles of the Instagram YouTube. Hey, what's going on? Vince Reed here and welcome to another lead generation training. Today, we're gonna to be diving into Instagram website click ads. Now, typically on Instagram, when you see an image or a video and you click it, Nothing happens, you simply like that person's video or you like that person's image. Well, what if you could actually click on an image or a video and direct those individuals to your website and start generating leads? That's what I wanna show you how to do. So we're gonna jump over to my computer screen. I'm gonna show you how they work, enjoy. Now, here are how images often appear on Instagram. So here are some of the different pages that I follow. You can see Richard Branson, Fast Company, um, Barbara from Shark Tank, and this is how images look. So you can see, you'll see the images if you're scrolling through um, your home news feed on Instagram, you'll see how many people liked it, you'll be able to see all the comments, and this is how it typically appears. Now when you're running an ad, it looks a little bit different. So you can see here, here are some of the image ads that I actually can post. But the difference is, underneath the ad, you can also see this little button that says learn more. Now you have the ability to actually change what you want that button to say but as you can see i chose learn more and when a person clicks on learn more i'm able to direct them to my capture page or to my website and you can do this through image ads or i should say ads on instagram which are placed essentially through facebook now when the ad appears in the person's newsfeed, it'll show up as sponsored so you'll know that it's a sponsored ad but it gives you this button to, um, in terms of you having the ability to put learn more. I can't tell you how many times people see that and they say, man, how are you putting that button there? And then I say, hey, reach out to me and I'm able to teach them that. Um, and they're really blown away by it. It helps their business. So you can see I have um, a variety of different types of images that I can promote and drive traffic directly to my website. Now, one of the cool things about this is it allow you to double the followers and activity on your Instagram profile. So you can see here's my Instagram profile and here are all the different things that people are clicking on. Here are regular images that I post um, on Instagram, but as you can see here are actually paid images um, though I'm running ads to these images. So um, essentially that's drawing more attention to my actual profile, which gets me more people following, liking and engaging in my actual personal profile on Instagram. So if you were looking at the earlier day where I taught you guys how to do this with video, um, it's the same thing in terms of how do you set up Instagram ads um, for images. When you go in to set up your ad, um, essentially you'll have a choice of where you want your ad to be displayed. And in this case, you'll just click on the term or the, the button here, Instagram. And um, now you can start targeting all of your followers or different interest groups um, on Instagram as Instagram was purchased by Facebook. All right, so let me give you a few tips to leverage and maximize your experience um, with Instagram. Number one, the same rules as Facebook ads apply, 20% text to image ratio. So for example, if you're running an ad on Facebook and you understand how the guidelines work on Facebook, make sure you basically mirror those same things on Instagram. You don't want a ton of images that have um, you know, more than 20% text on the in image or that therefore your ad may not get approved. All right, so I know some people try to do certain things where they brand their website con consistently throughout the entire image um, and it's big and it's a huge brand logo. 
Um, I've seen those get um, disapproved, not saying that you can't get away with it every now and then. So my rule of thumb is just follow the same guidelines as you see on Facebook ads and also be sure to go in and just check the terms and conditions consistently when you're placing these ads. Um, another um, thing you should definitely do is use three to four variations of, of an, uh, an ad image. So for example, one of the things that I've noticed about Instagram ads um, as of right now is that their targeting is not as targeted as, let's say, Facebook. So I've seen people essentially see your image that aren't technically the people that you're that you'd be wanting to target. OK, so if you keep showing the same image to that same person over and over again, you open yourself up for negative feedback. But if you have a variety of different images that you're running traffic to until Instagram gets more accurate on their targeting, it makes sense to have three or four different ad images that way to the person that's scrolling through Instagram. They don't keep seeing your same image of the same thing over and over and over again, which could obviously get on their nerves and cause them to obviously um, send in like a negative report on your ad. All right, so make sure your website is mobile friendly, which is kind of weird to even say because most people today have mobile friendly ads um, or websites, but you'd be shocked that there are people that still haven't come around to you know, making their websites mobile friendly. So be sure to definitely do that and uh, you will absolutely get better results and you will be shocked at how many leads you get is now it's getting definitely more um, you know, popular for people to see pop-ups pop or, or um, opt-in pages on mobile and people are actually opting in a lot more than it used to be, whereas people would never opt in unless they were looking at it on their desktop. Okay, last but not least, I have a clear call to action. Users are not used to being taken outside of Instagram, so don't be afraid to have click learn more in your copy and tell them what to do because what people are probably going to do is double tap your image thinking that it's a typical image and they just want to like it. But in this case, when you're using the image, you actually want them to click on something to go to more information. So you need to be clear of that when you're utilizing an image ad versus just doing a typical ad.